Hello, Your Honor, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, the judge and juries of the Zodiac start off as sunny and social this week. The moon is in Leo, shifting your emotional awareness now to your public persona. So your emotions are going off and visiting your popular side. This is your friendship mode. This is your politics mode. This is your constituency mode. Uh, this is your status. This is your reputation. If you are a writer, someone like me who's on camera, this would be that. So your emotions are sensitive to your public, to your arena, to your sphere of influence, to your world. And see what your emotions are saying. Because a lot of times emotions tell us things that the other states of awareness don't tell us. And that's why I think we have that feature here in the Earthling uh, vacation. Now over to the sun. We're in chapter two of Sun and Gemini. This month, the Librans are working on reconstructing their belief structure. This week, we're going to be exploring with what you should believe. Now, this can be playing out in lots of ways, Libra, all over your life because we're talking about what you believe in. And essentially, when I do one-on-one -on -one release, one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations with clients who are going through this transit, usually there's one area of their life that's like on fire. And that's the area that really is about beliefs underneath it. So whatever's going on in your life, look behind it. That's probably where the belief discussion is. And a belief might be the issue. So this week we want to explore what should you believe? Can you really believe? Can I really, do I really believe I can make it as a fireman? Do I really believe I'm going to hell because I watched Soul Garden? These are all things you got to ask yourself, right? And we know the story. And we know the answer. And this week, you want to explore that. Now, this may play out for going to college, planning education, planning trips, etc. With Venus ruling the day today, you just kind of want to shop. And I know this is kind of a generic uh, topic, but it's an important one. Now, Jupiter over the weekend has become heated up. It moved from Aries into Taurus. In the last six months, Jupiter has been expanding Libran's view on relationships, which is huge, right? You're supposed to be the experts. God, the universe just upped the ante. Now, for the next year, your intimacy consciousness is going to expand. And that means your definitions of boundaries are going to change. You've been defining your boundaries in certain terms. And what's going to happen in the next year is the universe is going to give you more terms to define them in. Complicate boundaries more. Create more gray, less black and white, and force you to draw new black and white. So essentially, it's time for you to expand what you're comfortable with. And starting as soon as Friday, you'll start to see little issues where you used to be okay and suddenly uh, you can't tolerate that anymore. It's a boundary and it's irritating you. You're okay with that person in your space. Now you're not suddenly. That's a boundary that's irritated. So boundaries start irritating ASAP. Now, for extra help on that, don't forget we got Astro Extra, uh, Jupiter in 2011. That's available in Soul Nirvana. If you're a member, it's live now. If you're not, don't forget you can join for a month. So no excuses, soulnirvana.com. And we got Julie Zipper's meditation vibration going live today. Julie is continuing on her lecture of being a messenger and finding your message. And today she's going to help you express your message, especially with meditation as a guide. Julie is live today everywhere the garden blooms. All right, Your Honor, that wraps up the start of this week, but I'm back tomorrow with more. Until then, live, love, be. So